It's Ryan here from Android Coliseum, here to do my review on the ZTE Axon Pro. Now, I've done the review on the ZTE Axon, which is the sort of base model or their middle of the line kind of device, and I really, actually really liked it. I mean, I, talk, I don't want to rehash a lot of the review about it, but it's a nice design, it's a nice, you know, holds well in the hand, uh, it's a nice funky kind of look and feel to it. So there's not much difference between this one and this one, except for a couple of features such as it now has quad HD display, it has a four gig of RAM, and it is the 810 processor uh, versus the Snapdragon 800. So, um, so basically, dis display, RAM, and processor are the upgrades. Uh, the model I have is a 32 gig, so but you can get it in 64, whereas this is just 32, which is kind of nice if you want to get the 64 because this doesn't have a micro SD slot. Same as this guy here. Um, I really kind of liked it. I mean, the battery on it lasted pretty good, and it's not an upgrade from this one here, despite it being Quad HD, not much difference. It lasts about the same as my G3 from last year, because, um, you know, Quad HD does drive it a little bit more. Uh, the Snapdragon 810 processor, it is a little bit warmer. Um, I don't know if that's just a placebo effect. I noticed when I used it that it did feel a little bit warmer, but I played games like this in Justice League, and it was definitely... Uh, getting hotter and starting to burn the battery a little bit faster. Other upgrades you notice from this model from the last one, and just go here, some of the apps it includes. So first off is this Argus step counter. Um, regardless if I use it or not, I always have a consistent uh, step counter staying in my thing, so i got to figure out how to get rid of that, which I haven't really done yet. The other thing is we have an app in here called ZTE Rewards. Now, it wasn't on there immediately, but I did get a software update later that did that. The idea is that ZTE Rewards is that you can refer your friends to it and you get points. And if they buy a device, then you get points. But it's hard to really track that. I don't know how you do that. So that was kind of lame, I thought so. The other neat little thing was the fact that you actually have a new gesture that if you swipe, swipe up, swipe up, uh, kind of as you would do a sort of you know swipe up for Google Now. It brings you to this little sort of quick notification of some stories by Yahoo, uh, your you know Argus step counter, and then your con major contacts, and then you have you know some. So it's just kind of a neat little way to get some of your uh, notifications really quickly. I does do it down, brings that up, but anyways, everything else is going to be pretty much the exact same as its predecessor, the ZTE Axon. Well, I'm going to say predecessor. There's at the same time. So other than that, um, I'll do a full review on the website, um, but you're going to notice that for the $659, $650 price tag at Newegg, it's pretty pricey, but there's not many devices out there that come with 4 gigs of RAM, so uh, you might want to check it out just for that reason. Anyways, I'll review the site. You can have any questions you have there. Um, just shoot me a line. Thanks. Bye.